Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have BMW recalling about 1.5 million vehicles over brakes, which is heartbreaking because brakes actually do matter. As opposed to BMW has, let's say hypothetically, let's say if they had to recall around, you know, broken taillights or charging signals not working, that probably wouldn't matter because I think those are only used about once every vehicle production is made, when vehicles is manufactured, they test in the factory. But subsequently, I don't think, I take it back, I've seen one BMW use a turn signal in my life. Search a small sample size, but let's just say of all the things on the vehicle, that's probably used the least. Now this comes to us thanks to DW.com. There you can see the iconic BMW headquarters. And they say, quote, BMW recalls 1.5 million cars over a brake issue. German luxury automaker BMW says is recalling the vehicles over a apparent brake problem. Partially as a result, the Bavarian company is lowering its sales and profit expectations. There you can see they're building there. Which, wow, it's even worse than I thought. So they say, quote, they announced a far ranging recall of all of vehicles, as well as delivery ban on cars that have been not reached to customers yet. The manufacturer also said it is lowering its profit and sales expectations because of the issue, coupled with subdued demand in China. Is, I don't say it's one of Trump's greatest accomplishments, but I can't help but think every time you see the word China, you think of his voice. Uh, BMW says the problems with the brake system affect more than 1.5 million cars in total and cause warrant, well, geez, least, cause warranty costs in the high three digit million range of its current quarter. In addition, to recalls deliveries are suspended for 320,000 cars. They have not been handed over to clients. The Munich headquarter company said it would effectively lead to a negative sales figure worldwide in the second half of the year. Which, that's awful. Because again, nearly uh, most businesses do great, fiscally speaking, Q4. I mean, it's the reason they call Black Friday Black Friday, because black I mean, on the ledger, that's when you get to profitability. As well as you being in the red, that's when you're losing money. So again, when it comes, I mean, there's a reason every car manufacturer has those, you know, you know Christmas sales and, you know, truck member, all that kind of thing stuff well they also have a lot of sales during the air during that time that's definitely not good. so they say parts supplier continental which manufactures the integrated braking system for bmw said the function of an electronic component may be impaired that would need to be replaced however this part added there's no danger of the braking performance falling below legally required standards which eh still not good for marketing it's right above the legal line it's it's legally okay uh okay they say that, quote, BMW is stable, which also includes Rolls Royce and Minis. Now is expected a slight decrease in vehicle deliveries that time of year compared to last, having previously predicted a small increase. I can see some of those little Minis right there, which used to be a great stick shift vehicles until they decided to kill it and go EV and automatic. And they say, quote, exuberating the impact of the recall and canceled deliveries. Quote, the ongoing Munich demand in China is affecting sales volume. Despite stimulus measuring from the government, consumer sentiment remains weak. The automaker also trimmed its profitability guidance, expecting margins of this year of 67%, down from 8 to 10% previously. BMW shares also fell almost 8% in the immediate aftermath of the profit warning, while shares of the supplier Continental fell by 7%. BMW last month also called, recalled 1.4 million vehicles in China due to faulty airbags. Ouch. And again, you also have really high, really, really, almost comically high interest rates. And not just for homes, but also for vehicles as well, which is another big disincentive to actually buy one, because again, that's going to jack up your monthly payment by quite a bit. So there's a lot of things that are already hurting the automotive community in general, and this just adds insult to injury. And again, BMW's yet, they are really known, or they used to be known for great stick shift vehicles and being, they, I mean, fun business fact, the longest running mantra in the automotive community, in the, for, you know, an advertisement, was BMW's called the ultimate driving machine. Of course, it breaks my heart that the new head of the performance brand, the M-Series, well, he says that sports cars they need to change because they're not fuel efficient and they don't care about three pedals, which shows how clearly rudimentary his mind thought is and how disconnected he is from the consumer. But I partially digress. This is definitely not good news as they have yet another recall and it's so bad, it's going to just I mean, dis have those profits just erase. It's already one of the toughest years. I mean, it's natural to have sales dive every four years as politics has infected every part of business and all part of our lives. You see the economy usually pulling back a little bit over any press election election. This time even more so, especially in the United States, because of consumer sentiment and the spending. And have an issue where now you actually can't even buy some of these vehicles because of the recall and this issue. I say BMW, that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Don't don't forget to take the time to of course like, subscribe, and comment. Also, don't forget to take the time to really just take one second 
to click that like button. I have that theory. When I first started the show, I could barely speak at all. It was more or less terribly inarticulate. But as I get slowly but surely gained more and more subscribers, I've slowly but surely become more articulate. Feeling my theory that the more people I click that button, the better I'll be able to speak. And someday make it through an entire episode without a single speaking mishap. A tall order, some might say, but a goal nevertheless. Also, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.